Well, he may be taking over in the middle of a scandal, but Ontario's new housing minister isn't backing down from plans to develop on the Greenbelt. Paul Calandra took questions for the first time today as he takes on the controversial file and suggested even more of the Greenbelt could be opened up for development. The Premier may have appointed a new housing minister, but his directive remains unchanged. I will not be stopped. I have to be honest with you, I will not be stopped on our mission of building 1.5 million homes. Paul Calandra taking over after Steve Clark's resignation this weekend and promising a new review of the entire Greenbelt will rebuild public trust. We are going to ensure that uh, any changes that are made to the Greenbelt are done in an open and accountable way. But at the same time, suggesting more Greenbelt land could be removed to meet the government's housing targets, despite fierce public opposition. Is it possible yes. more lands could be opened up for development during this review? I'm not going to presuppose. I'm agnostic to what... Uh, uh, what I'm agnostic to what the process of what the final resolution is. There may be lands that uh, need to be added to the Greenbelt. There may be some... Uh, 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 some lands that, that are removed, but it'll be a fair and open process. The 14 parcels of land already removed from the green belts last year will also be under review, but development on those lands will not stop. If they do not meet uh, our goals of uh, building 1.5 million homes, uh, we will take action. We already have enough land approved for development to not only build 1.5 million homes, but to build 2 million homes. So why aren't we building on the land that already is approved for development? The opposition says this was never about building homes. What he is proposing to do with this Greenbelt review is create a speculator's bonanza throughout the entire Greenbelt. The absurdity of this boggles the mind. That's exactly why the people of Ontario are even more outraged today than they were two days ago. And activists tell us momentum is building with more than a dozen rallies planned for September. This government is, is misreading the public and the anger uh, in communities. So do you feel like as Calandra has taken over that nothing has really changed? Nothing's has changed. In fact, I, I would say things have gotten worse. Instead of backtracking, they're more than doubling down. They're tripling down. They're actually making it worse by saying, hey, let's open the whole thing up for development. But Calandra argues his office will do things differently. Uh, my colleagues and myself reach out to the Integrity Commissioner to ensure the, 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 the highest of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of standards are met with myself and, uh, and my team. Calandra also says his office is looking at implementing a use it or lose it policy to prevent developers from sitting on unused land. And if shovels aren't in the ground by 2025 on the Greenbelt lands, they will be returned. For City News, I'm Tina Yazdani.